About 2.5 million people live with HIV AIDS in India. Although the prevalence rate of 0.36% seems low by many country standards, because India's population is over 1 billion, it is third in the world in terms of greatest number of people living with HIV. Tamil Nadu is one of the states where HIV prevalence rates are the highest. In 2006, a project integrating nutrition in comprehensive care, support and treatment of HIV infected people was launched in the state of Tamil Nadu to improve the nutrition and health status of people receiving antiretroviral treatment. The project is a partnership among the World Food Program, the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition, the Tamil Nadu AIDS Control Society and the government of Tamil Nadu. The aim was to understand the link between nutrition and the disease among beneficiaries and to improve the health and nutrition of those affected. Because there is a demand on high energy on uh, people who are suffering from HIV. There's a increased metabolic rate and higher energy needs. And this is not met. They are going to lose or burn their body. And there is also a need for micronutrients in their diet because micronutrients uh, have an important play in uh, uh, supporting the immune system and also it uh, influences the, the oxidative stress that the person is going through because of the breaking down system that's happening. Therefore, nutrition becomes very important and integral part of care and treatment, I would say. 26 antiretroviral therapy centers distribute each month NutriPlus, a specially fortified flour funded by GAIN and produced by the World Food Program in India in addition to providing antiretrovirals. NutriPlus is made from wheat and full-fat soy flour, fortified with minerals and vitamins. Beneficiaries are also provided with nutrition assessment and counseling to ensure the best possible diet and hygiene practices. When the patient comes for the pre it itself, they will start the patient by giving some nutritional counseling, how much they take the food and everything, right? That time also we insist on this nutrition powder. Then how, what's the major part of nutrition when you take an IIT? So that time we will show the powder to them and ask them to patient to how, what are the ingredients on the powder and how to make them and I'll give it a very good recipe on that. We have a book on, recipe book on that. We provide to all the patients. When they go back home, they can go, go to the recipe book and they can prepare on them, themselves. We prepare uh, different recipe with the NutriPlus powder. All are get 3 kg of NutriPlus in the every month. So every visit they come and learn one recipe from NutriPlus. So in the, in the beginning, we first we started NutriPlus fire some. It's a very delicious food because that uh, NutriPlus powder with we add some dal in, in that we add jaggery. So the, all the things are uh, rich in proteins, calories, vitamins, and minerals. Everything is supplemented. So then um, uh, following month we uh, talk about uh, NutriPlus laddu. This NutriPlus powder we can make different recipes. They won't spend much money for that. Over 15,000 patients have received NutriPlus in Tamil Nadu since 2007. Each month, children were given 1.5 kilograms of fortified flour supplement, while adults received 3 kilograms, the equivalent of about half the energy of a typical meal. <laughs> I should thank really now because of this NutriPlus. Before you know, I never used to take it properly. After NutriPlus, uh, they uh, started making these dishes and all and giving, you know, we started taking that. And that made me, now my uh, CD4 has come to 800. First of all, it was just 300, 400 only. Now it has come to 800. It has been increased. So now I feel always uh, energetic. No evidence was found linking NutriPlus with changes in CD4 counts, which reflect the immune status and the progression of HIV infection and disease. Yet in a study to assess the impact of the program, a significant increase in the weight of those who took the nutritional supplement, along with ART, was found. Nutrition is directly linked to improved socioeconomic uh, outcomes. 
For example, our study has shown that if you provide nutrition to HIV infected people, you will find they are able to work for more number of hours. If you provide nutrition to HIV infected children, we find their health improves quickly. More number of children are able to go to school. The dropouts have come down, uh, come down drastically. And we also find that the monthly income, because they are working for more number of hours, the monthly income of families, wherever the nutrition was provided, has also increased significantly. It means also that patients have become more integrated in their community and therefore have regained their dignity. As a result, the National AIDS Control Organization has initiated steps to include nutrition as part of the National AIDS Control Program. I feel that the, the significant improvement that has come out in our state, it, the benefit of this program must reach people in other parts of the country also. And I feel that uh, the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition, GAIN, has, an, a very, has a very important role to play in this. The learnings from the Tamil Nadu, it could be disseminated to a kind of a wider uh, audience so that the learnings from this project uh, could be shared and then the program could be scaled up. This project is still underway. It has helped recognize that in addition to effective prevention programs and early treatment with antiretroviral drugs, food and nutrition are also critical components of the global HIV and AIDS response.